Okay, guys, I have tried to explain to you why this virus is happening. And it's all good. I mean, it's just really... Uh, if, if you choose... I mean, it's sorting people out so well. I mean, seriously, pushing those buttons. If you want to be in fear, there's nothing wrong with it. But Guy is basically saying, uh, you can't do that here anymore. So... I know you can't see how that works and how a consciousness will go to an alternate planet and leave their body with just a little bit of consciousness here. They could still look like they're in fear, but their consciousness is gone, guys. It's gone. She's just kicking them off. That's all. So if you have been following me, then you should have nothing to worry about. I'm a, uh, I'm a pre-dead person here telling you that dead is awesome, so there's nothing to fear with the dead thing. And so I'm telling you that all of this is like changing a lot of fear-based um, setups that need to be altered, and it's doing it very quickly and all at once. That should be a good thing. It's getting people to be refocused on uh, what will be more appropriate towards uh, raising a vibration to the fifth dimension. That's all very good news. You don't need to be angry or upset about these things. If you're upset about the systems that are failing, well, you need to reanalyze what you're upset about. Because a lot of these systems that have been shut down or are being transformed, these are systems that we don't like, remember? Well, they've got to go away for us to replace them with something else. What a better circumstance than this to force them to become something better. Uh, it's really a good way of doing it. But here's the ultimate best news ever. That everybody, especially people in the cities, which is where the vibrations are the lowest and the most difficult, and the systems are so entangled and are interfering with Gaia's vibrations that are natural. So on top of that, everybody in the cities is being are being forced to stay at home. What does that mean? Well, in a not, about nine months, it's going to mean a great many prism plus babies on this planet very heavily in the cities. So what doesn't get cleaned up by then, the second they're born and that prism energy floods those cities, it's going to clean the rest of it right on up and everything will have to go away. Because you're humans and because you have limited abilities to of cognition, mentation, and uh, bigger fal fa uh, abilities to understand things from bigger perspectives, you're just going to have to understand that what you see is a little tiny piece of the puzzle. And if you could pull back and see all of the puzzle working at once, you would see the magnificent of the reshuffling, the re-generating, uh, the defractaling, the equal, everything's balancing, the rebalancing of the energies on this planet, making Gaia feel so much better. The only beings on this planet that are in distress are the beings that refuse to go back to a natural way of living. So basically, Gaia is saying, I've given you decades upon decades upon decades of hints, of pushes, of options, and you've ignored me. So it's humans are like the misbehaved child that has been given time out, has been reprimanded so many times, there's nothing left to do but to take all the toys out of the room, leave a mattress there, and close the door. And that's where we're at. The misbehaving children, the bad children, are the only ones left to deal with on this process of increasing the vibration to the fifth dimension. So she's taking away all the toys, putting a mattress on the floor, and closing the door. But in this process, everything else, planet-wide, is going exceptionally well, including what is happening by forcing the city people to be at home where they can produce this massive new baby boomer bunch of children that will flood this planet specifically at the unhealthy city level with this new energy. And they will not, it, 
They will be close together. There will be many of them. And this will be amazing. It's going to be an incredible year, guys. Incredible year. Love you guys so much. Huge hugs. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.